Well, it's January, but Christmas is here. And I've got my Christmas present for the year. Let's see what it is. Wow. It's an ambient weather weather station. It's the WS2902C. It operates at 915 megahertz. And this is a complete weather station that I'm going to replace my old one. Uh, I had an old Accurite. My Accurite weather station, I've had it for about eight years. But in July, it decided a major cold front moved in and it wasn't gonna go away. And it became negative 40 degrees in the middle of summer. Most likely the connection with this old weather station either got lost or it stopped transmitting or the major computer inside the house just went bad. But anyway, we're gonna replace this one. Now, one of the things that I'm going to do differently though, is I bought a little real quick satellite dish mask. I'm gonna mount it to that pole right there that's part of our deck. So let's see how it works out. Let's open it up. All right, let's open up the ambient weather WS2902C. Here's the packing list. Setup instructions. Here's the indoor unit, and it could be either mounted to the wall or sat on top of a table. And here is the sensor. Mm -hmm. Sensor setup steps. Insert batteries into battery compartment. Remove this sticker. Press reset button on start sticker to begin operation. And right here, if you look, it has a little item that points to north. Inside here, there's like a little cup that fills up with water and I guess once it reaches a certain weight, it drips it. And that's how it measures the water. Okay, and this is the wind vane. There's the mount clips to mount it to the pole. This most likely is the AC adapter. There we go with that. This is some sort of, press the hook on the bottom of the filter into the hole in the bottom of the funnel until the hook is locked into place. The spring tension will keep the filter tight in place. I really don't know exactly what that does. There's our wind cups that spin around when the wind blows. All right, well, I'm gonna read the book, but it looks fairly straightforward. we did is we put the wind weather vane on and we put this on there's a little notch that you stick you loosen the screw there's a little notch you have to figure out and you put it in there did the thing for the weather cups how you know which one goes to the wind vane is there's a north west east and south on there we're going to install the funnel push it in there and pop it in place All right and there's a funnel spring item not exactly what this is supposed to do. So. And then it, you press the hook into the bottom of the hole and it sticks in place and now it doesn't come out. Um, I don't know what that's for. Maybe it prevents splashing or something, but anyway, we got that in there. Push this open. Now it's time to put our double A batteries in place. Polarity, positive, negative. Oh, and then we see a light that comes on. Okay, well, I got pretty excited about uh, setting it up um, and decided not to wait till the morning. So I went ahead out here and just uh, used this mount here. Now tomorrow I'll reverse it and mount it. This morning, I decided to mount the weather station. I mounted on top of this pole. It's roughly about eight to 10 feet above the ground. Um, one of the biggest problems that I have is they say, you wanna mount it four times the height of your nearest location. Well, and nowhere on this yard am I far enough away to keep it away from the trees. So anyway, this is gonna be the best location for this. Uh, I wasn't really 
tall enough to get up there to be able to tell if it's level. So I put a level across there. It looks like it's pretty good. Uh, the ammometer seems to be spinning pretty good. It seems to be updating pretty good with wind direction. And then as I look online with Weather Underground, uh, a lot of the locations are uh, also uh, stating the same information. So we should be good. Well, we've had the weather station about a week now. And so far, the accuracy has been phenomenal. I went and registered it with the local websites and the local weather condition locations. And the barometric pressure is usually within 0.01 of the other one. Uh, the rainfall amount, we got 2.23 inches of rain. And um, anyway, on the outdoor rain gauge outside, we got two and two tenths of an inch of rain. So that is just phenomenally close, much better than the Accurite weather station that I had before. With comparison, I was using this rain gauge. This one's made actually by Accurite. When I came out and looked at it, it was two tick marks above two, which is exactly two and two tenths of an inch. Anyway, I gotta be honest with you, it is very accurate as far as the rain, the temperature, and the barometric pressure has pretty much been right on with what the local weather radar people are talking. And there's about, you know, I don't know, within about, you know, three or four miles, there's about six or seven weather stations. Um, and I'm not certain if all of them have been, uh, the extra step has been taken to the calibrate the barometric pressure on all the, all the systems, um, as the barometric pressure does vary a little bit. And the wind speed varies quite a bit, and that has to do with the elevation that the weather station is mounted at. Um, this weather station is about maybe eight to 10 feet above the ground, um, but you know, it, it, its readings are a little lower compared to other weather stations, which may be 30 or 40 feet. Like I'll watch and I'll see the, those pine trees just blowing in the wind, you know, up at the tops, but however, the wind is not as strong down at the ground, so the accuracy on that is going to vary based on elevation but anyway so far I'm really impressed with uh, with this ambient weather uh, weather station good morning Paul's here and I've had my weather station running here for a couple of months now and it still seems to be running pretty well you know my natural thermometer out here says it's basically just about 71 degrees and in one inside Basically, the outdoor temperature shows it's also 71 degrees with 60% humidity. Uh, 76 here in the house, 76.1. These two vary by about a degree. This is the actual thermostat temperature, and this is the temperature inside the unit. Um, anyway, the barometric pressure, it shows the barometric pressure here. It shows the tendency of the barometric pressure if it's gone up or down. Um, we're getting uh, our light level is 171.6 now the Sun is kind of hidden behind the trees because I couldn't get the weather station out of the trees the UV index is low at this point we've got a slight wind that comes and goes and we haven't gotten any rain in a while now as far as the temperature uh, we don't really have any wind chill or our dew point is 57 degrees and you just hit that by hitting the temp button and then if it was a uh, high humidity with high heat it would give you the heat index there rain we haven't gotten any rain in this event uh, we haven't had an event we haven't gotten any rain today we haven't gotten any rain this week uh, we've gotten 3.42 inches this month and since I installed this in basically the last week in January, first week in February, we've gotten 14.10 inches of rain. The pressure average is 29.14. Uh, last 24 hours is 29.15. Uh, 48 hours ago it was 29.19. 72 hours ago it was 29.23. Anyway, but anyway, I've mounted the unit to the wall. It looks real good with the thermostat. Um, but so far, I'm very impressed with the unit. Now following, I'm gonna show you basically what it shows on the internet.
is January and it's cold outside, but it's not negative 40 degrees. My Accurite weather station, I've had it for about eight years ago, but in July it decided a major cold front moved in and it wasn't going to go away and it became negative 40 degrees 